Hi everybody, this is Brazy. Welcome to a Speak Your Truth video blog. A lot of Nazi news, a lot of Hitler news over the last couple of days. And as the theory goes, that can only mean one thing, right? Israel is about to go and invade a foreign country by bombing the crap out of it or something. Well, we weren't let down. First of all, let's have a look at the uh, Hitler news that is floating around. And it's always, it's always like this really irreverent uh, Hitler news. I remember last time I, I did this blog, uh, it was Hitler in his Ladenhausen, how he used to like to dress up while he was walking around in the, in the wilderness or something. This time, uh, there's, there's a fight between two different uh, researchers that are deciding over who actually got the research done first. And they've said, they've come out and said, Hitler didn't die in the bunker. In fact, he escaped through this very vicarious route all the way to Argentina and where he had a couple of children and he went there with um, Eva Brown's um, uh, brother-in-law or something like that. Have a look at this article. So there you go, Hitler is alive and kicking and grew to the old, ripe old age of about 73 before he passed away and now these two researchers are fighting over who's plagiarised who. It's kind of like, almost like the, uh, you know, the, the Navy SEALs who, when they were trying to push that sort of popular narrative about uh, Osama bin Laden, they sort of said, one of them said, no, 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 he's carrying a gun. And the other one went, no, 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 he was unarmed. And, and that way it sort of made it all become perfect truth. Well, this article literally came out the day before, uh, and it went across all the different, all, all the world, all across News Corp, Zionist uh, news media, etc. Just before Syria uh, was bombed, uh, their defense uh, area was bombed by um, Israel from the sea, by the Mediterranean Sea. And of course, this was again overshadowed by more Nazi news, which was about some Nazi painting, which was found on 23rd Street, 23rd Street, at a thrift shop in New York, and it was bought for $50, and it was worth a fortune, and then it was given back to the thrift shop as a donation, and it is currently, just as the, uh, in, just as the explosion was happening in the, the small coastal town in Syria, and whilst, while Israel was bombing it, they're literally running an auction so that you can make as much money as you can out of this uh, Nazi uh, painting. So it's all for a good cause. And then, of course, at exactly the same time, there is this irreverent article about how in 1939, I believe, Princeton University came out saying that the greatest man living in the world was, in fact, Adolf Hitler. Voted by the people of Princeton. And this was just a timely reminder that uh, even back in those days, people could do stupid things and it was always uh, recorded. So don't worry too much when some old guy tells you what you're doing online or what you're doing on Twitter or videos like these on YouTube uh, will be recorded. So, you know, all of these really ridiculous sort of articles were coming out all, all about uh, the Nazis and of course all about uh, Hitler. And it was literally 24 hours or 48 hours directly be before we saw this extreme bombing occur, or as I call it, just a flat-out invasion of a country that's in the middle of a civil war being attacked by a, a makeup of rebels from, um, you know, supplied by weapons from USA, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, etc., etc., etc. So it really is a disturbing thought. And let's not forget that, um, you know, Benjamin Netanyahu, the psychopath, went over to visit the Pope, and the Pope didn't want to have a bar of him. So there you go. When you start to see some fairly irreverent Hitler or Nazi news, it is always followed up by Israel bombing and killing somebody. This is Brazy. Those are just the facts.